Well, good morning, folks. Welcome to Coffee with Job. A wee bit later than usual, but there are many reasons for that. <clears throat> uh, let me begin with just uh, a, a personal item, first of all. First of all, I want to give thanks that this came through. Uh, that is our visa, and it allows us to be here and work for two years, and so now I'm officially an employee of Evangelism and New Churches of the Sydney Diocese, and I'm actually thrilled about that and there, there's a freedom involved in that which is great and allows me to get on with this work and you know may the Lord bless it and then um, the shirt I'm wearing sometimes people have asked about this uh, those of you who are West Wing aficionados will know about it it is from the West Wing um, and you know when we're looking at the world situation which we are going to do today uh, we are looking at Job, but it is, believe it or not, this just fits perfectly our situation in the world. And when we're looking at the world situation, sometimes people go, oh, if only we had a president like the president in the West Wing. Wouldn't that be just wonderful, President Jeb? Well, it was fantasy and not real. And I'm afraid we have a president who says that the Iranian people won't be uh, stopped by the bombing of Kiev. We have Putin, we have Xi Jinping, we have Modi, we have Morrison, we have Johnson, we have the various bureaucrats that are in power in the EU as well. And that's where we turn to today's passage. Now, I have entitled this God's Answer to Ukraine. And, you know, People think I'm just making this stuff up, but I'm not. I mean, this is where we're at. This is, having gone through, this is number 130, and at this particular point in time, this is where we come to. Chapter 40 and verse 8. This is God saying, Would you discredit my justice? Would you condemn me to justify yourself? Do you have an arm like God's, and can your voice thunder like his? Then adorn yourself with glory and splendor, and clothe yourself in honor and majesty. Unleash the fury of your wrath. Look at all who are proud and bring them low. Look at all who are proud and humble them. Crush the wicked where they stand. Bury them all in the dust together. Shroud their faces in the grave. Then I myself will admit to you that your own right hand can save you. Now what God is doing here, he's saying, okay, you run the world. You deck yourself with glory and splendor. Can you bring justice? You put on my royal robes. You put on my judge's wig. You go out with my... Uh, thunder, if you like. How would you get on doing that? Can you bring justice? There's a story of two men who were walking home one night and one said to the other, if only I was on the throne of the universe for 10 minutes. His friend said, if you're on the throne for 10 minutes, I would not wish to live in the world for 10 seconds. As Augustine says, the fact is that God can take what is evil. It's so great that he can take what is evil and turn it to what is good. Can you do that? Can I do that? Not at all. One man writes this, men are eager to use force to combat evil and in their impatience they wish that God would do the same more often. But this would result in us becoming another Satan. Only God can destroy creatively. Only God tra can transmute evil into good. That's why I'm utterly astonished. And if you're one of these people, I hope that you're ashamed. I'm utterly astonished at even Christians saying things like, we need to attack Russia, we need to nuke them for the pain that they do. Do you know, the things that are so wrong in all of that, doubtless we feel that we are doing good. But are we? Would we? Oh, if only I had the power. You know, all these people who know everything on social media and on Twitter. Really? You know, if you had the power, what would you do? Do you know this? I think you'd be worse than Putin. I think the I don't want that kind of power. I think there are just so many problems with that. I think I read this. I thought, I thought this was very good, actually. If I didn't read it and it's my thought, then I'll, I'll, I'll copyright it. But no, I'm pretty sure I read it. That just because everyone has an opinion does not mean that every opinion matters. And I definitely think this. You don't stop war with hashtags. 
you don't stop war with virtue signaling. You don't stop war with emojis. Right now, it seems to me that the Western world is going collectively mad. I mean, it is collectively mad with so many different issues. Because despite the Ukrainian war, Scottish Parliament, guess what? It's going to carry on doing the Gender Recognition Act because that's a really important issue facing Scotland today. But we, well, it's, is this a council of despair? Is this a council of pietism? No, it's not. It's a council of Christians looking at things from a very, very different perspective. Because what God is not saying, God's not saying, okay, maybe I'm not doing a great job, but let's see if you can do any better. That's what he's not saying. He is saying, the government of the world is harder than you think. But don't worry, I've got this. I'm in charge. And I need to hear that. I need to know that. Because I look at all the answers that people give me and all their expertise on social media. I look at the mainstream media, which to me, with a very few exceptions, seems as mad as the rest of the world. And they don't give me any answers. I listen to the politicians. They don't give me any answers. And the devil says just despair. But actually... I believe this book. I believe what God has said. I believe that he himself is the one who brings down the proud and humbles them, who crushes the wicked where they stand. And I believe that he is the only one that can do so without being wicked himself or without causing what might be called unnecessary harm. A God of absolute justice, a world of perfect peace. That's what Jesus came to bring. And that's what I believe in. I believe in a renewed world. So I'm here today and you're here and, you know, there's circumstances going on in your own personal life. There are wider things going on in the world. I'm saying to you, question all that you hear, but don't question the goodness of God. God bless you and see you tomorrow. Bye.